Now this is tremendously roomy here. The driver's seat is at the comfort access mode at the moment. So in reality, it's a little bit further from the knees of the rear passengers. And it uh, kind of reminds me of the Nissan X-Trail. The rear center handrest works like the armrest of the Nissan X-Trail. You also have a couple of USB-C outlets and a ventilation outlet. And by the way, you can also adjust the second row. You can also adjust the backrest. This little tab here. Oh, and of course, let's check out the optional third row as well. First I have to pull the seat forward. Okay, it's getting tight there. Uh, you know what? I know I don't fit here. This is really meant for the kids. And if you really want to see how I fit back there, you can check out the night POV video. Holding the third row is really easy. Just put this tab here. This tab. And here we go. This is the roomy. And folding up the third row is equally easy. And strangely you have three stalks poking out of the right side of the steering column. First off the gear selector, then the wiper control, and last but not least the audio control. And it's actually quite convenient in practice. Alright, let's go.
recap the Curvy Road section then for a 7 seater MPV slash crossover this thing is amazing the suspension is really well sorted minimum body roll combined with decent comfort but the main selling point is the four wheel steering system which works amazingly this is my second vehicle with the four wheel steering the first one was the Mercedes EQE SUV but this system is definitely better the Mercedes system felt alright but it was too artificial the four-wheel steering system really shortens the wheelbase and it also minimizes the understeer so the steering felt really confident inspiring for a uh, seven-seater that has to be said so to recap this Spas has really nice handling well sorted suspension and the four-wheel steering really kind of makes it amazing on the downside the power delivery is a little bit unexpected and the hybrid system it doesn't feel clunky but sometimes it's hesitant about the power delivery but overall great vehicle all right the quick acceleration test change the mode to the sport mode and hit it the acceleration characteristics is very different that I'm used to initially there's like nothing nothing and then the electric motor is kicking in more and more power so it feels like not to 50 is quite slow but after 70 kilometers an hour the acceleration gets better and better usually it's vice versa
let's recap the four-wheel steering system. First off, of course, it makes the maneuvering way easier and I really tend to challenge myself while seeking for a parking spots. So it kind of makes the parking experience fun and, you know, kind of pleasant. Challenging in a positive way. The another benefit of the four-wheel steering is uh, how it changes the handling characteristics. So as I said before, it really shortens the wheelbase and for me it really tries to eliminate the understeer. So this is Bas, being a front-wheel drive vehicle, it uh, really doesn't feel like one. It kind of drives like a four-wheel drive vehicle. So imagine combining a four-wheel drive with the four-wheel steering. Now that would be really rad.